So I didn't know this, but did you know there's an actually an unreleased Mortal Kombat kid show? Yeah, I didn't know that either. I saw on Reddit that someone had posted on the Mortal Kombat subreddit a post basically leaking all the details, including stills. So we're going to take a look at that, break it down, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. So as I said in the intro, a Reddit user posted on the Mortal Kombat subreddit page a leak detailing an unreleased cartoon called Mortal Kombat Ultra Girls. The leaker said the cartoon, which is a girl-focused series, follows Cassie Cage, Jackie Briggs, and Frost. Here's a description of what the cartoon was about. Mortal Kombat Ultra Girls takes place after multiple timeline resets caused by Blaze during Armageddon. In this new timeline, the Warriors were shown all the previous canons. Many characters want Armageddon to happen again so they can start a new life. Others want to prevent the reset so they can continue the life that they currently have. The opposing side split into two factions of reset or continue. This time Armageddon is scheduled to happen many years after it once did. The Warriors are getting too old to fight, so Shang Tsung forms a high school to train a younger generation. He pits them against each other in reset or continue factions. Whichever team gets the most Crypt Coins will be the ones to decide their future should they win their final battle against Blaze. A regular episode would follow new students Cassie Cage and her friends, along with students which include other MK characters such as Melina, Katana, Jade, Takeda, Shiva, Aaron Black, who's dating Natara, Scarlet, Rico, and Scorpion Sun, who happens to be a zombie. They're assigned to fight or do Shaolin Showdown style challenges with other students of the opposite school faction. OGMK characters like Kano, Liu Kang, Scorpion, Zub-Zero, and Raiden are all teachers of different factions. Their offices and classrooms are full of MK and Midway Easter eggs, and other MK characters show up as well. Striker is a hall monitor no one listens to, Rain is a pretty boy popular kid, Johnny Cage, Sony, and Jax are the main characters' supportive parents, and Cobra is a karate instructor that lives in a trailer. The leaker goes on to say that the show has action humor to please both viewers and Warner Brothers executives. The leak says, We had a lot of freedom on this. There's a lot of humor that pushes PG, but no blood or guns. Cassie basically uses Green Energy Spirit Guns, as one of the supervising director puts it. But Raicho is just called Bo, and the character Meat is a test subject used in their science class. At first, it was hard to get him past SMP, but they allowed it to, when we point out that Adventure Time did skinless humans too. Let's talk about the animation style. So stills were included with the leak and showed that the cartoon would have had a very similar animation style to that of popular kids shows like Teen Titans Go and DC Superhero Girls, amongst others. From the title card, we can see Cassie Cage, Jackie Briggs, along with Scarlet, Frost, Shiva, Jade, Melina, and Katana. And another still that takes place in a school halfway with lockers as a backdrop, we have Frost, who is like a skater chick with a frozen skateboard, who has frozen Cassie Cage and leaving Jackie Briggs to look on. And other leaks have been leaked from the show that show more of the combat that would happen within the show, with Cassie Cage going against Frost, who is a more of a ninja attire fighting one another tournament style. One of the stills shows Cassie Cage using her green energy, and another shows Frost being beaten, but Cassie extends a hand to her with an older Shang Tsung looking on like he did in the original Mortal Kombat tournament. The leaker describes other ideas that were thrown around before Mortal Kombat Ultra Girls was chosen. Some of those ideas included a revamped continuation of the 1990s cartoon Defenders of the Realm, a Teen Titans Go! Thundercats War variation, a teen action show similar to Young Justice inspired by MKX's story, a Shell and Monks type buddy action series, a Johnny Bravo meets Tropic Thunder type comedy where Johnny Cage has to survive the entire MK trilogy timeline while thinking it's a movie, and a mad or robot chicken style skit show. The last time Mortal Kombat had a cartoon based on it was with 1996's Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm, also known as Mortal Kombat the Animated Series. The cartoon aired on the USA Network's Action Extreme Team animation block for one season with 13 episodes from September to December 1996, back to back with the Street Fighter Animated Series. The show serves as a combination of an alternative sequel to the first Mortal Kombat film and the events of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. The show was focused on a group of warriors assembled by Raiden, including Liu Kang, Stryker, Sonya Blade, Jax, Katana, and Sub-Zero, with the help of Nightwolf, who defend Earthrealm from invaders who enter through portals from various other dimensions. I honestly wish we could have this cartoon actually be released. I know the, the leaker said there's 52 episodes, about 11 minutes each, and that they only had about close to 20 or a little over 20 of them actually animated and ready to be released, and that they do, the team wants them to be released, and I think that Warner Brothers should do that. I think they may wait to see how the success of the Mortal Kombat film goes, and maybe then they can release it. It was supposed to release on Cartoon Network, and I know... You know, given some of the cartoons nowadays, they're kind of semi-adult. So I don't think that this Mortal Kombat show would be like, you know, get a lot of flack. But that's supposedly the reason why it did not get released is because Warner Brothers was too worried that they might get kickback from parents and maybe audiences alike. Just from what I've read, I think this show sounds great. And I think that it would probably would have gotten a lot of popularity and probably introduced young kids to Mortal Kombat. Which I guess could see could be the problem. But, I mean, let's be honest. Nowadays, kids, even at younger ages, are playing video games 
way younger than we probably did when I was a kid. Although I did grow up playing Mortal Kombat in 1995, which would have made me seven, six or seven, which probably shouldn't happen. But, you know, back then it was at the arcade and then it was also handheld. So it was it was a little different. But, you know, I think kids nowadays are already at that kind of border of where they have some mature content. But this doesn't seem like it's going to, like, push them over the edge. So I think they probably should have done something and it'd been cool to have you know, potential crossover, especially with Cartoon Network having other franchises, you know, they could have introduced other franchises in there. Like, I don't know, they could have a Street Fighter one or something like that. And they could have had some crossover stuff. They're always doing stuff like that or some type of event. So I think this could have been a real opportunity and maybe one of those will be, will revisit it. Even though it happened back in 2018, I think if it does get reintroduced, they could always bring it back and, you know, maybe something special could happen out of it. So what do you think about this unreleased cartoon, Mortal Kombat Ultra Girls? Do you think it should be released? What are your thoughts on it? Or what are your ideas for other animated content? I know we had the Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge animated movie, which we're hoping hoping we'll still get a sequel to. But do you think we should have some type of animated show like Young Justice style? Or would it be kind of cool to have like an anime style Mortal Kombat get released? Let me know your thoughts below. And that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to hit that like button for movies like this one. Make sure that's the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time on the mashup.